Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa Rattan. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin or color. So today's video is about Vaseline. Is it safe to apply Vaseline around the face? We know that obviously it's been designed for the lips, but there's been a whole phenomenon called slugging, uh, which you may have heard of. And this is basically when you apply petroleum jelly to the skin. We don't discuss it enough. And I thought it'd be worth discussing it specifically for skin of color. As you know, skin of color is different to Caucasian skin. Not only do we have large melanocytes that are easily triggered, uh, which means we have to be a lot more careful with our skincare because if we burn our skin, we lead, it leads to hyperpigmentation. Our melanocytes become triggered. This doesn't happen to Caucasian skin. In addition, we have less ceramides in our skin than Caucasians, which means that our skin actually has more transepidermal water loss. That means more water loss happens from the skin. And so actually our skin tends to be drier. So those are two key um, skincare differences that are relevant for this particular video. So today we're going to be discussing the benefits, the mistakes, how to do it, and step by step what you should be doing. Um, there are also a lot of myths um, surrounding petroleum jelly that I would like to address too. Don't forget, I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video, which means that you really should hit that subscribe button, but also a notification bell so that you know I'm in the comment section to answer your skincare questions. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please make sure you do. So that's uh, Dr. Mita Rattan and Skincare by Dr. V. Also on TikTok is Dr. Mita Rattan. Plus I've made a free guide for you on skincare for skin of color and the link for that is down below. So make sure you download that. Okay, let's dive right in. So let's start off with talking about what is petroleum jelly? Does it moisturize the skin? How does it work? So petroleum jelly is an occlusive. This means that it basically sits on the skin. It doesn't penetrate into the skin. But what it does do is it massively reduces transepidermal water loss. A review done in 2016 um, actually showed that Vaseline reduces transepidermal water loss by 98% versus a normal moisturizer, which reduces transepidermal water loss by about 20 to 30%. This means there's a lot less evaporation happening from your skin when you have Vaseline on top. Now you might be asking, but Dr. V, isn't it better to occlude the skin 100% and the answer would be no actually you want that one to two percent of evaporation to happen in order to trigger the skin to produce more intercellular lipids those are fats that also help to protect the skin keep the skin cells together and give you a healthy skin barrier so you actually want that to happen and so what Vaseline is essentially doing is it number one is creating a second lip uh, second layer of skin on the skin in order to trap water, but it's also encouraging your skin to produce more lipids, which will also reduce transepidermal water loss. Now, if you have less lipids in your skin, what happens is the skin starts to feel tight and dry. And this normally happens in the winter because in the winter, the environment is drier. And so you basically have evaporation of skin because there's more water in your skin than there is in the, in the environment. So that makes sense. But when you have less fat in the skin, uh, you basically don't have that protection. And so water is evaporating. The skin starts to feel tight and dry. Later, as this progresses, it becomes flaky, it becomes sensitive. When you start to apply retinol or any other sort of irritating ingredient onto a damaged skin barrier, it can burn the skin and irritate the skin further. So actually for skin of color, we have to be very careful to ensure that our skin that's already drier than Caucasian skin is well protected. Now, if this condition continues, then you can even get to a point where you're itching, you're getting bleeding, and then secondary infection takes place. And now at this point, you've got eczema. So we don't want to get into that vicious cycle because that's a very difficult cycle to break. If you do have eczema, do watch my eczema videos. I've made a whole series for you because for skin of color, it's slightly different. For eczema with us, we get hyperpigmentation as well, which we're trying to treat simultaneously with a damaged skin barrier. So please do make sure you watch that video if you or your children have eczema. So who should avoid avoid using Vaseline on the face as people with oily acne prone skin because it's not that petroleum jelly is occluding the skin it's just that it does have the potential to clog pores which is the exact opposite of what we're trying to do when you have oily acne prone skin so I would avoid it in that cohort of people so who should be wearing it I'd wear it if you have dry skin if you have eczema 
and with age. So with age, don't forget that we lose glucose aminoglycans in our skin, such as hyaluronic acid, i.e. the water magnets. So this is why when we get older, it's harder for our skin to retain moisture. Your skin starts to feel drier with age, particularly from about mid forties onwards. So you're looking at about around pre-menopause um, onwards, menopause, and then after your skin just gets exponentially drier. And so actually it's a really great idea to lock in that moisture really from, I would say mid, early, 20, early 40s to mid 40s, applying Vaseline to the areas of the face that, that feel particularly dry is worth doing. And that tends to be around this area. The next question I get asked is, but Dr. V, is petroleum jelly safe? Now the clean beauty movement basically started spreading misinformation to say that there were toxic chemicals in petroleum jelly, such as polysilic aromatic hydrocarbons. However, these aren't actually found in petroleum jelly. They are found in smoked foods um, or actually when you're smoking. So dermatologists have been recommending Vaseline for our babies for over 70 years. It's FDA approved. And what I would just look for on your va on your petroleum jelly is USP petroleum jelly. So it basically, it has been refined such as Vaseline. So the next question is, okay, fine. So we like petroleum jelly, but how do we use it? Does your face feel sticky? Does it stick to the pillow? How do we do it? So what I would say is use it as your last step. And I would basically do your whole skincare routine. For me, I have a six part skincare routine. I'm gonna film it for you. Um, but after my moisturizer, so my Pet, for example, I would then apply Vaseline. And I would apply Vaseline specifically to the areas that are dry in the winter. So for example, if you have AC or you have central heating, you'll probably find in the morning your skin is feeling tighter and your pores will look bigger. And your skin just looks like it's aged. It looks tired actually in the morning. That's not how your skin should look. In the morning, your skin really should look hydrated, pores should look minimized, um, your skin should be glowing first thing in the morning. Um, and that does happen with exfoliation once a week, but also by retaining moisture in the skin, such as using petroleum jelly to do that. Now, um, some of you are gonna find that actually your whole face has become drier from menopause onwards and you no longer have this oily T-zone, in which case I would apply it everywhere. But I would just do it two hours before bed because if you do it just before bed, it's it might stick to your pillows and it's gonna be very annoying for you. Um, but if you do a couple of hours before bed, it melts into the skin and it doesn't feel so he heavy and cloggy. The other thing I'm gonna say is that when you're sleeping, and I'm a face sleeper, I'm a face down sleeper, it's a mistake because that leads to more wrinkles. And you can actually see um, which side of your face is smashing into the pillow because you have more uh, lines on that side of the face and muscle has sunken in more. Um, and so if you go and see any aesthetic practitioner, they'll be able to tell you which side of the face you're sleeping on because you actually have asymmetry that takes place when you do that. So try, try, try to start to sleep on your back so that your face is not being crushed into the pillow with the full weight of your head and your brain. <laughs> if you had to pick one area to apply Vaseline jelly to, I would say do it around the eye area. The reason I say this is we have no uh, sebaceous glands here, so it's not gonna clog any pores around the eyes. You don't get spots around the eyes. Um, but also this is the thinnest part of the face. And so the skin wrinkles the fastest. It has the most dynamic lines. So when you're smiling, this is what starts to wrinkle more than everything else. So if you had to pick one area, I would do it around the eye area. And also a lot of you are getting eczema in the winter, specifically around the eye area, because the skin is thinner, there's more water loss. Um, it's a great thing just to start with. If you, you know, you're not sure and you're a bit nervous, I would just pop it around your eyes after your moisturizer at night. Um, and just see how your eyes feel in the morning. If you feel actually like, if you feel more comfortable, if you feel like your eyes look younger and feel younger, then it's worth trying for the rest of the face. However, if you really don't wanna use petroleum jelly and you feel like it is way too heavy for your face, then there are other options. So for example, uh, Cetraben uh, is a cream which uses white soft paraffin. So it's basically, it uses petroleum jelly, but it's a much smaller quantity. That's why you get a fatty cream from it, not a jelly-like substance. So it penetrates into the skin easier and your skin won't feel heavy. Alternatively, you can use mineral oil. So for example, in Sarah Pep, uh, we used Russian mineral oil, which is highly refined specifically for cosmetics. Um, but that's basically what you wanna look for is mineral oil or liquid paraffin in one of the top few ingredients to make sure that the moisturizer is really fatty. 
I'd love to hear your thoughts actually. How many of you have been using Vaseline? Can you write the word yes below and just tell me your experience if you feel like it's heavy, if you feel like it's clogging the skin or if it's sticking to your pillow or actually if it just melts into your face and you feel better the next day. I think it'd be really great for us to be able to see each other's responses and see whether it's something that we'd like to try ourselves. So if you want to shop my skincare routine, this is what it is. This is my six piece kit that I use for my face this is my evening set and then use three of the pieces for your morning set. So this is the um, daily range and you can purchase it from the link below. It's designed specifically for skin of color, for anti-aging and brightening. So it's a very niche kit that I made specifically for myself and now I'm sharing with you guys. If you haven't uh, purchased your copy of Skin Revolution, please do. It's been published by HarperCollins. It's an amazing, amazing guide specifically for skin of color and it goes through everything we need to know. It's literally a reference library for you and for your children. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the comments. Take care. Bye.